As a groundbreaking researcher, distinguished professor, and top university administrator, Jewel Plummer Cobb has forever changed the faces of the scientific community. Dr. Cobb began her career as a research scientist, providing the foundation for early chemotherapy treatments for melanoma and other cancers. But it was her career change into academic administration that gave her the platform to advocate for women and minorities in higher education around the world. When I became an administrator at Connecticut College, we formed an organization of women. The president of a number of colleges in New England area were all we all used to meet together to plot, plot and scheme to make sure we got more uh, women faculty. And uh, that was a very conscious effort on our part. Jewel Cobb's passion for discovery and her science training informed her decision to promote the sciences throughout her life. Her background as a scientist influenced the support that she was able to give to science-related projects. Uh, it also enabled her to um, be chosen uh, as a member of the National Science Foundation and to influence policy on a national level. The journey to the upper echelon of academia was a challenging one. The great-granddaughter of Maryland slaves, Jewel grew up in Chicago and attended the University of Michigan pursuing a career in science like her physician father and pharmacist grandfather before her. I was uh, forced to live in a dormitory that was segregated. All black students lived there. It became very difficult for me at that time. I didn't like the idea of being in, living in a certain part of the Ann Arbor where only black students could live. Disturbed by the segregated dormitories, Jewell transferred to Talladega College, graduating in 1944. She went on to New York University, earning her master's and Ph.D. in cell biology. Even then, NYU was considered to be, well, the whole area was, was very much biased against blacks, and anybody who would be, uh, was black would be uh, considered something wrong with them one way or another. She got her Ph.D. Uh, at a time when few women were getting their PhDs. She became a, a biology professor, Sarah Lawrence College, at a time when few black professors were at any white colleges or universities. So at every step along the way, she's been very much of a trendsetter. Jewel married in 1954, giving birth to her son in 1957. My mother uh, has always been here to me because she has always been courageous. She's always been uh, willing to do what she believed in, to not let anything hold her back from what it is she wanted to accomplish. To have that example in my life has been a tremendous, tremendous influence. Jewel Cobb authored dozens of research papers and textbook chapters at this point in her career. After teaching at Sarah Lawrence College, Jewel, now divorced, moved with her son in 1969 to New London, Connecticut, where she was appointed dean and professor of zoology at Connecticut College. I moved to administration without any regrets. At the time period, I felt I could make more changes and more, be more influential. It was unusual even in 1969 for uh, a woman of color to be dean at a major college. I was always very much conscious of the fact that there were fewer uh, women faculty in most of the campus. And also there was another aspect of this called women in science. I remember we had a special UN representation at the uh, UN conference on women in the United, in the world. Jewel Plummer Cobb's crowning achievement in academia was becoming president of California State University at Fullerton in 1981. She was uh, the first black female head of a major university west of the Mississippi. Well, I established five or six schools within the university. We had uh, enhanced uh, activities in the sciences. And I also, of which I'm very pleased, we finally, we got our first woman dean of one of the schools. She has demonstrated that although there is and always will be prejudice against women, against people of color, 
that despite those givens, that it is possible to succeed and that it's important not to let those things hold us back. Dr. Cobb's many prestigious honors include the Lifetime Achievement Award in 1993 from the National Academy of Science, over 20 honorary degrees, as well as having her name grace several university buildings. Her greatest legacy, I believe, is in showing people how far applying hard work, determination, energy, and imagination, how far that can get you in life, both uh, professionally and personally. I think she's done a tremendous job, and uh, the world's been a better place since uh, she's been here.